All right, good morning. Um, so I just left my favorite breakfast place and we're about to head to Chattanooga to check out a trailer that could possibly be my next big project. So stick around and you'll see what's coming. There she is. You ready? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> it's not working. So we're down here checking, taking a look at the trailer, and I noticed that the, there's some movement in the hubs. So I ran to Ace Hardware and bought the biggest socket they had, and no luck. On to plan B. So we got one of these down, um, had to use just some, just some vice grips and a hammer and uh, we got this side on. So now we're going to go and knock out the other side. All right guys, so here we have it. We got it all set up. We got the lights all hooked up. And those are working, got the tires pumped up to the proper PSI. We got the hubs all built built out. There's no more movement in there. Um, got some extra supplies. So we got some insulation, some plywood, and some diamond plate as well. Uh, and then in the back of the truck, we got uh, uh, some doors, some extra paint, some other odds and ends like wiring and whatnot. But I think this thing is ready to debut itself on the road so one thing uh, that I wasn't told before but it's uh, this is the first time this thing is actually going on the highway so this should be quite interesting I'm an actor come on all right so uh, the first, um, well, I don't know, 20 miles or so have been great. Um, it's still still being towed behind us, which is good. It actually seemed to track pretty well. And uh, we're just going to stop and grab a bite to eat and uh, get on the road again. Um, I'm just going to double check all the straps and make sure everything's good. So I'll see you folks in a few. All right, so we got the trailer home. Uh, success. Uh, it actually tracked really well. Uh, I was taking it up to about 70 miles an hour and it was, it was actually doing really well. Um, so I'm trying to get it in the garage right now, but we have a little bit of a problem. In fact, it's about that big of a problem. And as you can see, it's a little too tall to get into the garage. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at removing the wheels or the tires and putting a, a dolly underneath it and see if that gets us low enough that I can just scoot it in there on the dolly for now. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So there you have it. I'm a 
I'm a little winded. That took a little bit of work to get that in there, but uh, it is in there. And you can see my current teardrop is back there, and then right next to it is the new one. It's uh, a little bit bigger, but uh, yeah, this is going to be one hell of a project. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks, and I will see you next time. Oh,